welcome to a day of hot topics on the view now. Okay. Last night history was made. No, it wasn't. Obama was disqualified by default. The 44th president of the United States. John McCain is the president. I just have to tell you what happened to me last night cuz we I was I decided not to or go shall out we say to Joe Biden. at my house and I called my mom. And I asked her a question which I had never I I think in my entire life had ever asked her. And I said, "Ma, did you ever think you'd live to see this day?" And I thought she was going to say because my mom is the most progressive person I know. I thought she was going to say, "Of course I did." She said, "No. I never no, thought this you day would come in my life." No, the day lifetime. would never come. And the realization that hit me and really messed me up for a lot of the night was that as an american I always thought of myself as an american with all of the promise and and that america holds but suddenly last night i felt like i could put my suitcase down finally so it's all about, about the black skin like color everybody like my grandson this you know what people say oh you know anybody can be president yeah. You know, if you buy your way through years, long it's and been, manipulate our people, have been telling us this. And this is this is a moment where you realize that you have become the fabric of America, mm -hmm. that people really do want greatness for the country and they're willing to do as much as they can to bring it about and I was so knocked out by it. I I, mm -hmm. I couldn't the suitcase thing she me sounds up. like Martin like, Luther King night. into I couldn't believe it. separation not into you said that people said anybody can be president but they had a lot of different people last night including uh, African American reporters who said yes. my father in particular Strange would how they say only you can be showed black you people right. you know yeah. and and it was not when your mother said no I mean I think that's the way illegally the most felt. Mm. All eyes are gonna illegal be inauguration no honestly this is incredible discussions here and it's been a blessing to do that and I, I woke up this morning I put Grace on my lap and we watched Barack's speech last night and we sat there and she said that's Barack Obama and I said yeah Grace it is I said he won the election he is our next president of the no, United States of America he's gonna be our president and she said he won that's cool who lost and I looked down at this little face with her big cheeks <laughs> and I said you know what Grace no one lost today today seriously and and God knows I fought hard on the other side, but today is a victory for this country to have Barack Obama be our next oh, president. Oh, you're only saying that because you don't want to offend your family, black the amount of co-workers what is it, 14 million yeah. and be called a racist by them. The last. Present themselves and vote for their country. Today is victory. I haven't felt this good throughout this entire election process. So and it is a, a liberal racist against your own skin color. That's interesting. For the no. sake of your own co-workers. What, what, a, what a day, and it is emotional to hear him, to see the people that he's been able to affect, the power that he has. You yeah, know, he affected a lot of people in bad ways. I wasn't the first, <laughs> but I will jump in that line and support our president, because that is what, as support an American, him? I yeah, believe right. we should do. So now, let me oh, you forget he's half white? He said about President Obama, I'm going to quote you, he grew up and nobody knew him. Nobody knows who he is until later in his life. The whole thing is very strange. What are you driving at there? Are you a bird? No one does know him. Let me, let me just tell you. I was a really good student at the best school. I'm mean, like a smart guy, okay? They make these birthers into the worst idiots. Why doesn't he show his birth certificate? I, I think he probably... He to? Because I have to, and everybody he else has, has to. Whoopie. I'm sure why wouldn't him he show... He has, he has to. Birth excuse me. <laughs> why? No, excuse me. I really believe there's a birth certificate. Why? Look, she's smiling. Why doesn't he show his birth certificate? And you know what? I to prove that he was born there, but he doesn't want to prove that he wasn't born there. That's hanging over him. He should show his birth certificate. The other thing, if you go back to my first grade, my kindergarten, people remember me. Nobody from those early years. That's not true. We have pictures of them. Yeah, with a Muslim hat on. There are people in Hawaii. There are people that he's grown up. No, I haven't seen early pictures. But more importantly, in his own country, doesn't he? 
And, and you know what? I think he probably was, but the word probably yes, will be... Yes. Why the do word we have to defend because himself you're against, you know why? against uh, an accusation? Because if you're going to be the president... Because, because he's hiding a lot. The president of the United States, it says very profoundly... Boy, would be some blatant denial there. Racist denial. Probably no one has ever asked George Bush or said to George no. Bush, is, no I'm sorry, is Hawaii not part of the part United, United States? George right? Bush. Yes, it's gained real estate. But, but George okay. Bush was born in this country. That's a, what is, uh, isn't Hawaii yeah. still part of the United yeah. States? Like, I'm, am I no, it's gained real estate. I grew up in New York. Wall Street was a big part. I have seen fraud, and I have seen scandal, and I have seen things that a lot of people don't see. I've seen people take a hundred dollar bill and make it a million dollar yeah, bill. We're gonna have to pause. Get to the point. Okay. The point is. Well, they're arguing with him yet, right? In some newspaper that they show <laughs> that. To become president of the United States, in order I to want him to show his birth certificate. I want him to show his birth right. certificate. Well, There's something okay, on that well, birth no, certificate that he doesn't like. Oh my God! Oh, if he was white, you wouldn't care. The biggest pile of dog mess I've heard in ages. So are your arguments. Pardon my French, but where the fuck you been for the past 20 years? <laughs> He'll see what look for his coloring books from nursery school. I mean, the guy now he's saying that he can't believe that he got into Harvard so he's on his have own. To show his high school because GPA. He, but it's so racist. It, records are next. Me, it's very racist because in other words, you say you can't, he couldn't get into Harvard on his own. He didn't write his book. He can't fathom that a man could be that smart. That's what's behind then, uh, okay. it. He can't fathom himself to be that smart and successful. <laughs> <laughs> with a silver spoon in his mouth. Right. Oh, contraire, Donald was. And so he can't understand how come no, he wasn't. To Harvard, and this guy can. Well, because he's great and he's smart. That's how. A lot of people are Show me one brain cell this guy has. Donald Trump is a self-made billionaire. <laughs> An educated one. Because I'm, I'm getting tired of trying to find reasons not to think of stuff as being slightly racist. Oh, yeah, sure. You've been doing no nothing but complaining. And not just say, you know, this is what it is. But I have been raised to think, okay, well, maybe that's not what they mean. Maybe let me figure it out. But I have to say, I'm really, well, I do think again. But, you know, being black, when you say, you know, this is racist, 9,000 people say, oh, no, you're just playing the race card. Well, you know, I'm playing the damn card now. You've been playing it for the past 12 years. <laughs> because Bill pointed something really interesting out to me. And he said, well, it's true what Donald says, because if he had not sort of shown his ass, you know, and made this a ridiculous focus, yeah. this probably He didn't make it a focus. The media so, yes, did. Donald, I, can, I believe, can take some credit for making this happen. However, you know, happen making, making the president say, here it is, back off. But, so he, but, but, but wait, he can, so I think he can take some, he can take that credit. However, you're against you know, him, now you're giving says, him credit, well, which side are you on? At us thinking we're, we don't have it. Here's one of the reasons they're laughing at us, Donald. When you show such insane disrespect to the president of yes. your country, people in other countries think we're idiots. So just no, that other out, countries you're know you're idiots because you're one of the top ten that's the most under-progressed and filled with idiots. Are.